Meanwhile, Jose Ibarra's brother appeared before a federal judge this morning for a second time this week. In faith, this time it was for a detention hearing for Diego Ibarra on a felony charge for allegedly possessing a, possessing a fake green card. 11 Alive's Tracy A. McPeer following the story for us at 4, live outside the federal courthouse in Macon. Tracy. Well, the judge decided Diego Ibarra will remain behind bars as his case moves forward. Only our cameras were rolling this morning when officers escorted Diego Ibarra into the federal courthouse in Macon for his detention hearing. His defense attorneys asked for Ibarra to be released because they say he has no way to travel and that he could do check-ins so the court could keep up with his whereabouts. But the prosecution pointed out that Ibarra crossed the border illegally twice, removed an ankle monitor while awaiting another hearing, and a history of prior criminal acts as to why he should remain behind bars. Let's take a look at those charges. On April 30th, Ibarra attacked Customs and Border Patrol agents while entering the U.S. He later pleaded guilty to assault of a federal officer. Then, on September 24th, a DUI arrest. On October 27th, Ibarra was cited for shoplifting and was arrested on December 8th on another shoplifting charge and failure to appear. The prosecution also pointed to tattoos photographed on Ibarra's body consistent with a Venezuelan street gang and pictures Ibarra posted in February on social media holding weapons as to why he should remain behind bars. The defense claims there's no way to know if Ibarra was even in the U.S. when those were taken. Judge Charles Weigel deemed Ibarra a flight risk, deciding to keep him behind bars since there's nothing holding him in this area except his brothers who are both incarcerated. And the judge said if he's released, Ibarra could obtain another fake green card and it could be years before he's caught again. Now, coming up, a Homeland Security investigator who testified today explains how he knew Ibarra's green card was fake. That's new at 5.